Hey folks and welcome back to Old Car Auto Guy. Today is part two of the Motor Swap in Junior's Veloster Turbo. So without much talking, we're gonna do a quick time lapse to show you what we're doing so far and then we'll give you an update. do have the exhaust hooked back up here. The transmission has made it back to the engine. AC lines, which we struggled with for a little bit, are back on. All the connections upstairs are connected. We gotta put the belt on and the alternator up top. And these are all your alternator and starter wires and plug-ins here. Then we can go ahead and put the front end back together with the brakes and everything like that. Then we'll get some uh, fluids into it, oil, antifreeze, and then we should be able to get her started. So that's what we gotta do next. So Junior, what are you never gonna do again? Go kaboom. Last thing we've got to do to connect is the alternator. We've got the front end back together. We've got the transmission full. We've got to get the alternator back on, filler full of uh, engine oil and antifreeze, and we should be, oh, we got to bleed the clutch as well. And then we should be good to go. It's a good thing you're not paying for your lab for the labor. The three of us working on it here at once. Pay yourself to work on it. We are pretty close to getting it started, anyways, aren't we? We got oil in it. We got to put more antifreeze. So Junior is in his driver's seat one more time, getting ready to start this thing up for the first time. What do you think? I'm ready. So am I. I want my car back. Okay, blow her up. I mean, start her up. Off, check the oil, make sure that there's lots in there. So now that we got this thing all started up, we're gonna let it warm up the temperature and uh, get the wheels back on it, take her for a shakedown, make sure everything works pretty good in it. And I'll get my car back. So now we're just gonna take it for a little shakedown and see how she works and relearn that throttle position sensor. So the first thing that we're noticing is that the engine is still a little bit idling rough, but we think that's because of the relearn on the uh, on the throttle, because it is a different one. So we're gonna give her a little run here and see how she works. Hopefully, it works pretty good and doesn't blow up. And that brand new clutch in there, it feels good too. It's a little touchy. Still don't have the AC lines hooked up yet. So, or they're hooked up, I guess. They're just not recharged. Now, there's no vibrations in the motor anyways, kiddo. All the gauges are working. The temperature gauge is right in the middle where it's supposed to be. No engine light, surprisingly. Let's hope that stays that way. Even your mom made a bet, didn't she? Yeah. She said, yeah, you'll get a check engine light. It'll never go out. I do miss driving it, yeah. It's a fun car to drive. I can agree. Don't do it again. 
don't do this folks it'll cost you so when you're just kind of horsing around and bring yourself back to good old times you blow one of the hoses off the turbo and your turbo sounds just that much more awesome that come off there. We'll get that tightened back up again. So one of the things that we're going to do with this old motor as we tear it down is we're going to take all the sensors off of it. We'll label them so that we know what they are. That way we have some spares should something ever happen to the, you know, to the engine or to, to a sensor or this or that we've always got something to fall back on because the value in all those parts used uh, is money in the bank. You know, we just paid 1900 bucks for that motor and now we've got all these extra spare parts, probably half that value again, just in sensors. So that's what we're gonna do when we tear this down, fuel rails, uh, inject injectors, uh, all the different sensors that we think that we may need, the exhaust manifold, even the turbo. Uh, we'll keep that and make sure that uh, we've got all the spare parts for down the road. Well, I guess that is it for the motor swap on Project Veloster. I call it Project now because it was quite an ordeal. Junior's happy. In fact, part of his payback right now is he's washing my car. So final startup on this thing kind of was uneventful, really. We had no issues. All connections were connected other than taking it for a test drive and blowing off the turbocharged uh, tube. Uh, no major problems. We've got the AC blowing cold again and all we've got left to do is get this thing with an inspection sticker because it ran out at the end of July and Junior will be ready to go. So that is it. Another day in the shop on a muggy Monday, Tuesday. That's today's Tuesday. And uh, I'm happy that tomorrow I won't have to work in the shop. And not only am I happy that I don't have to work in the shop tomorrow, I don't know if I'm more happy about the fact that Junior is learning a very valuable lesson here or that I got to spend such quality time with my dad in actually doing the work. Now did Junior help out? He sure did. But it's not every day, even though I go to work with my father every day, that I actually get to work side by side. And we didn't even throw wrenches at each other once. Granted, he did wedge my thumb once and it drew blood, but hey, no one's complaining about that. It's not a good day in the shop unless you're bleeding anyways. So, Junior's car is done. I am happy also to have Grandma back and Junior did clean it up for me uh, as a kind gesture and a thank you for helping him out with his car. So guys, as you recall from the last video, Last Fit Automotive has sponsored that video about putting those two LED headlight bulbs in Grandma, and you are eligible for a 10% discount by using the promo code OLDCARAUTOGUY10 if you go to the website listed right here. Sussex Beard Oil is also a sponsor of these videos, and they sponsor this beard. If you are a bearded man, you can get your very own Sussex Beard Oil at sussexbeard.com. Car Guy and Six Fan Show is back on the air, and uh, you witnessed it on Thursday evening. We had a lot of fun, and I hope that you can join us next week on Straight Six Fan's YouTube channel. His link is in the description box below. I hope you will tune in and follow us along as we have fun talking about cars. Guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you. God bless. Let's do it again real soon.